So I've been looking at some of the different things that we could be doing with our YouTube channel. And one is to cover more tech topics about why, you know, what makes a good mower a good mower, that kind of stuff. I have a lot of content that I've done at different um, presentations and training and that kind of thing. And I could uh, probably have maybe 30 of these out there that I could, could talk to. But here's just a sample. Tell me what you think. If you're interested in this kind of stuff, then maybe we can do more of this. All right, so this one is about controls on a mower. Uh, let's start with this. There's two times types of control systems. One is the quad lever, where we have a stationary handlebar and moving levers on the you know, front and back of that stationary lever. Twin controls, you have two levers that move. In the front, you have a stationary bar. In the back, you have a stationary bar, okay? So twin controls, the, one of the downsides to them is that when you're driving forwards, you're gonna be hunching forwards because you have to have your hand on that further, first, furthermost bar. Um, so you'll be hunching, hunching over. Now to go forwards and reverse, you have to completely move your hand uh, all the way to the back. And so you have to release that stationary hand a little bit more often. So it doesn't give you quite the same sense of stability. Now, when you walk up to the machine, you have to reach over the first stationary bar to get to the controls. And so it's um, a little bit harder to kind of grab and go uh, with that machine. The front stationary, when you're driving forwards, leaves your knuckles exposed and if you've ever driven a dirt bike through the woods or a mountain bike and you've had your knuckles hit tree limbs, you know what I'm talking about. It really hurts. Um, and so your, your knuckles are exposed. Whereas on the control, quad control system, the reverse levers are up front and your hand is behind them. And so uh, it protects your fingers from getting whacked. Also, if you drive up against a blunt object by accident, maybe the edge of a deck or a big tree limb or something, and it bumps those reverse levers, the machine will just start going backwards to get push it, drive itself backwards, uh, your hand won't get stuck in, in that gap there. Uh, so yeah, some definite benefits on that side, although uh, they're not necessarily something you're gonna, that's gonna happen frequently. The quad lever controls, they allow you to stand in more of an upright position because that stationary is in the middle. Uh, you can lean further back when you go downhill. Um, because you know, you're gonna squeeze like this to go forwards and like this to go backwards, you have a more continuous grasp of that stationary bar. And when you walk up to the machine, it's easier to grab and go. You don't have to reach over that first bar. Uh, we also believe that the stationary uh, bar should be wide enough to let air flow underneath your armpits. If, if the width of the handles, if it's real close, it's going to be kind of stuffy. So look for controls that are easy to grasp, allow you to stand upright without leaning real hard into the pad. That's going to be harder on your back. And um, they give you a good sense of balance. All right, now let's talk about the control motion. So the pressure should be minimal with very little slop. We want to see control levers that are mounted on something like a ball bearing that are not going to wear and get wiggly. You want your rod ends to be big, heavy-duty, chrome-type rod ends. As they move through their range, the speed should be linear with the control position. So you don't want them to be more too sensitive at a high speed or too sensitive at low speed. You want a nice, linear feel to it. And the pumps aren't naturally linear. And so when you design the control system, you have to put some, some real uh, effort into tweaking everything to get that feel just how you want. It's, it's all subtle, but the machine is an extension of your body and that's communicated through those two levers. And it's really important to get that right. So the use of dampers um, is, is, you know, done for a number of different thing, things. One is um, it lets you use a, a lower capacity hydro system to keep the spikes down it makes the machine less jumpy, or if you don't have good anti-tip protection on the mower, then you want the controls to be real sluggish and hard to move. So you have kind of a shock absorber in the handles. It's very common on a Z a rider because um, there's no stationary bar and you can kind of get a herky-jerky thing going on if you don't have a damper in there. But on a stand-on mower, it really bogs things down. You have to anticipate your turns and the mower's not very responsive. So look out for that. You don't want that in your control system. Pressure balance is a concept here where uh, when you go uphill, you want to feel the force increase. Or if the tire breaks free, you want to be able to feel that in your hands. Like, you know, suddenly it took less force as the tire breaks free. This is the feedback that you want, sort of like you, what you'd have in a race car. You want feedback in the steering, right? And so um, that, that's important. Now, if it's overbalanced, in other words, you go up a hill and suddenly it becomes easier to, to squeeze the controls, then... Um, it can make the machine kind of sporadic. Um, a great example of this is if you look at um, any stand-on mower with the Hydro Gear 5400 transmission in it, that transmission ha is, is sort of an overbalanced transmission 
and um, if you drive the machine against a wall it actually won't even return to zero it'll just get stuck in the forward position because the oil pressure is pushing the handle forwards okay so what's the takeaway here look for trolls that give you good feedback and find control at low speeds all the way to max speed you don't want it to be jumpy high end or low end uh, you do expect if you're driving it for the first time to feel almost too responsive because after a couple days you're going to find that that you're going to become very comfortable with those controls and if they're too sluggish then then later on it's going to be slowing you down anyhow there's a tech topic for you if this is something you're interested in hearing more more topics like this let me know and, and certainly we can do that anyhow i hope you have a great day